This is Fox 5 Local News. A major news American city in shock this morning after 11 police officers are gunned down by snipers during a protest in Dallas. Five are dead. To say that our police officers put their life on the line every day is no hyperbole. I mean, these events are starting to affect me and my family and my friends. And if you're, if you're a black person out there or, or just an, a concerned American and you're not concerned about it, I feel sorry for you. And as for those who use rhetoric suggesting harm to police, even if they don't act on it themselves, well, they not only make the jobs of police officers even more dangerous, but they do a disservice to the very cause of justice that they claim to promote. That was what many called a very dark time in law enforcement history. Can we have the prompter, please? Uh, very dark time in law enforcement history. And it was a few days before the tragic events in Dallas. D.C. firefighter Norman Brooks posted some controversial comments on Facebook. He posted his comments after the deadly police shooting of a black man in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And then, of course, a few days later is when the situation happened in Dallas. Critics have said his comments were a call for violence against pre uh, police. Firefighter Norman Brooks is here with us now with his side of the story. We want to say thank you so much for being here. But before we uh, get to you, we want to go back and look at uh, the post that sort of began all of this. Uh, here's one of your posts. The answer is yes, I'm saying the citizens should take the law in their own hands and target racist cops. Those pigs in Baton Rouge deserve nothing short of a bullet in their heads. See how their families feel after that. It is time to stop praying, stop protesting, start buying guns, and start protecting ourselves from these crooked racist cops. If you are a cop and are not in support of these people, then it is time to start turning these types of people, or at least given sorry give out some addresses so we can handle so them we the people can handle all right so we, we sort of paraphrase some of the things you said there because uh but but first let, let's get your response initially when you came out with this you let me let me hear in your own words what why did you say why did you post that well, i mean you know um, it was a very emotional time i mean it was a crazy video that i witnessed a lot of people witnessed it and you know i say what i said mm -hmm. How do you respond? You, you, we showed what the president said, which almost seemed to be uh, directed at you personally uh, in, in some ways, because it was, he was responding to people who had made calls for folks to act out against the police, which you yourself did. When you heard the president say that, how did you react to that? Well, first, I would like to put my statements in the proper context. Um, I am not against police, per se, mm -hmm. OK? so. The comment that I made that day, and most of the comments that I make on my Facebook page are uh, about uh, dealing with systematic oppression and institutional racism. Mm -hmm. And it just so happens that a lot of these killings appear to be race-based. You, you can understand, though, why the public and why police officers locally reacted the way they did when you, when you wrote some of these things. I mean, they were, they were strong words. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, but if you take a look at uh, your Facebook page, uh, when my interview was posted, I would say about 90% of the comments were in support of the things that I said. Most of the people actually stood up for me and said that, you know, they thought that my comments were, were honest and, and things need to be done about some of these situations that are happening. Some time has gone by. Uh, where we are now, do you, do you feel that people should take violent action against police officers, target uh, police officers, even innocent police officers? I think that people should target white supremacy. That's what I think that people should target. And if it comes in the form of a police officer who, who's not doing his job, then I think appropriate action should be taken against that officer. Okay, um, strong words. You, after the initial posting, you were placed on desk duty. Is correct. that correct? Correct. And after some time, you went back to, to doing your job again as a firefighter. And, and, and might I add, um, just so everyone knows, sure. the comments that I made that day, uh, I wasn't found guilty of any, you know, Correct. breaking any department policy. So, so uh, in fact, we have the, the, the department's social media policy, and we sort of looked it over. And it, it does go over things about making sure that you're not posting things that are threatening, intimidating, disparaging, bullying, or harassing, but it specifically talks about the D.C. Fire Department. So uh, once you went back onto the truck, you posted some more. What did you post that time? 
Um, honestly, I don't know. I, I don't know why I'm on Death Duty. Okay, I mean, so I can't death really. Duty you, right now. I can't really get into any specifics about the DC Fire Department because you know there are rules and regulations regarding me referring to look, them in the media. So let me let me let me read uh, from the department's social media policy uh, some of the things that are forbidden: inappropriate electronic communication that may include discrimi discriminatory remarks, harassment, retaliation, sexual innuendo, threats of violence, or similarly inappropriate or unlawful content will not be tolerated and may result in disciplinary action up to and including termination. You have not been terminated. Uh, are, are you surprised that you have not been terminated? No, because I didn't break the policy, if you, if you read my, my comments. But when you say people should target police officers, aren't you advocating violence, making a threat of violence, advocating harassment and retaliation? I'm saying that people should target white supremacy. Target how? Target how? Um, however they see fit. However they see fit. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not telling anyone to go out and do anything crazy, but at the same time, what are you supposed to do? Like, if you're in an unfortunate situation, like the gentleman in Tulsa, what are you to do? Well, there are a lot of people who were outraged by your comments. You, you are right. There were plenty of people out there who could relate um, or, or who stood behind you and, and related to your, uh, your post. But do you understand how it made, you know, it, it caused some friction within the community by people saying, you know, there are innocent police officers out here doing our job every single day and you just told people to target us well first of all i mean that's that's an extreme way to look at it first of all i have best friends that are on the metropolitan police department mm -hmm. i have close family members that are police officers at least i would say 10 to 15 people very close to me are police officers mm -hmm. and how have they reacted to you and how have some of the, the those who are firefighters and police officers who aren't necessarily your friends reacted to you well though well you know I'm, I'm concerned with the way my community reacts to it. Okay. I can't be concerned with the way other communities look at it because it's affected my community. So as long as the people in my community are with me, then that's all I'm really concerned about. You said, you know, people should act out against white supremacists, but all police officers aren't white supremacists. Of course so you're not. You're not saying target police anymore. Of course not. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm saying that we are at a very pivotal time in American culture right now. and. And it's time for a lot of people to wake up. Like, it's time to wake up. All right. You you were placed on desk duty. You went back to doing your job, and you're back on desk duty now. But you say you have no idea why. I have no idea. I, you know, they I just, told you it was over another post. I, I do what I'm ordered to do. Let me let me let me read uh, so that we have it on record. Uh, we got a statement from the fire department. Uh, they said uh, firefighter Norman Brooks is on administrative duty, desk duty with the department. This is an internal departmental matter, and thus we have no further comment. Want to make it clear uh, because you've kind of said I'm not telling people to do something crazy. Do you, I read a lot of your posts on your Facebook page. You're also anti Donald Trump. You're not even a, you're not a Hillary supporter. Either. No, I don't support either candidate. You don't support either all. candidate. No. Uh, some of the things that you have expressed on your Facebook page concern about Donald Trump uh, and, the, and the time period that we are living in right now, which is a very tense period of time, et cetera, et cetera. Don't you think that by recommending people to go out and commit violent acts, that kind of plays into this whole uh, 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 time of tension no. and violence I, and, and I, very I high stakes? I do not. I do not. But is it fair to say, generally, that African Americans have been and are still currently suppressed in some sort of manner in the United States? Is it fair to say that? It is fair I to say that. Okay, absolutely. So let me ask you this. What did George Washington do when he thought he was being suppressed by the British government. He fought back. So is that what you're saying? Does that re mean? Re Wait, refer to George Washington. I don't think <laughs> If the fire department comes down, it sounds like they've taken the action that they're going to take. If they come down and say, uh, you're fired, this is inappropriate, is that something that you will fight them on? Uh, I mean, you know, I, I don't really want to comment on that because that, that's sensitive. I mean, um, we're obviously not to that point. I know other so. firefighters have posted certain things. Do you think that the, the, the way they've treated you has not been fair? Well, uh, well I'll say this. Uh, I, let me ask you a question. Just hypothetical. Uh, you, you read that policy right there, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. So um, if someone made a post making derogatory statements about the President of the United States while they were on duty, based on that piece of paper that you have right there, would you consider that 
uh, a violation? I yes. So. Yeah, absolutely. And this is just me asking you a question. Yes, absolutely. I would. But absolutely. let me, t I'll say this too. I'm surprised you haven't been fired. Uh, based on the policy that I read, I'm surprised you haven't been fired. Okay, I mean, and that's, I guess that's, a, that, that's, you have the right to be surprised, but I mean, that situation is over. Um, and, you know, now we're on to this new situation that I have really no idea about, so. I mean, do you guys have any idea what? what we have no idea. We reached out. We reached out and we asked too. We, we we certainly appreciate you coming on and and sharing your story. We don't know, you know, anything more than what you know. We were hoping you would tell us. <laughs> well, I'll say this. Uh, I have found a more creative way to express my views. Um, me and a friend of mine. Uh, we actually started a video podcast. So you're gonna do it that way. Yeah. You have to understand though. You're a public. You're a public servant. So for you to post that out there, that kind of freaked people out. Um, I'm a black man first. But you're also a public servant. Right, and I, I, you know, as far as those comments go, I mean, that's, at this point, is water under the bridge. Um, like I said, I mean, my views are, are my views. Um, similar to uh, my brother, Colin Kaepernick, I'm going to continue to express my views as long as these, as long as the situation is the way it is. Until we, can, until we can fix this systematic oppression, I'm going to continue to voice my opinion. Norman Brooks, thanks so much. We appreciate it. We'll be right back with more Fox 5 News at 10.